Hey everybody, Microsoft Sam here. Today we are going to review every scary level in Duke Nukem 3D. And I am not just talking about levels from the base game. We are also taking expansions and user maps into consideration. Whether they are official or not. In fact, most of these levels do not come from the base game. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Oh, and I hope you've got your teddy bear with you. Let's start with the vanilla level A1L3, Death Row. This level is scary from the perspective of someone playing it for the first time. The same can be said for any other vanilla level which is initially spooky. Anyway, this level is scary, because as soon as you enter, you find yourself on an electric chair, getting the shit zapped out of you. The other thing is the chapel. Near the level start, you will find a chapel. If you walk up to the altar, and push on the Battle Lord's portrait, the crucifix in front of you, turns upside down, and the lighting turns red. Then comes horrifying beast sounds, introducing you to the scariest enemy in the game, the Octobrain. Once you go behind the upside down crucifix, and take out the Octobrain, then you find the infamous doom by Easter Egg. Which is scary in itself. And that hanging priestess corpse just adds to the scare. Next we have E2L2, Incubator. This level is even worse. I mean, you open the first door, and all of a sudden, a bunch of sentry drones are waiting there, ready to explode in your face. The next thing you notice, is that there's a bunch of green tentacle shit, growing all over the space station. Then you notice, that this green tentacle shit is growing out of your ass. LOL, just kidding. Oh boy. Don't even get me started on those protozoids. The first time one of these suckers latched onto your face, you must have been like, HOLY FISH PASTE! SHUT IT OFF ME! GET IT OFF ME! <laughs> you all know, how scary octobrains are, well, this level is filled with these things. And sometimes they attack you by surprise. This one is from Duke Nukem 64. For those of you who don't know, Duke Nukem 64 is the Nintendo 64 port of Duke Nukem 3D. This is E3L1, raw meat. Unlike its original counterpart, it is set in the daytime, yet, it is scarier than the original. For one reason, dead babes. Eventually, you walk into a room filled with green alien shit, protozoid eggs, and trapped babes. Among these things is a hanging babe corpse. The corpse hangs upside down and it is torn, missing its upper thighs, pelvis, and organs. Later, you encounter multiple corpses alike, in an underwater area filled with octobrains and protozoids. Oh crap, I think I just shit my pants. Not to mention all the dismembered body parts on the dinner plates, and the mutilated corpse hanging in the freezer. But the scariest thing about this level is the good old boys dancing like autistic automatons. Okay, time to get to the nitty gritty. The scariest level in Duke Nukem 3D is, Babe Land, by far. Come on. You guys gotta admit that this is totally fucked up. <laughs> Alright, enough playing around. You guys are probably too manly to be scared of that shit. Let's get to the real scary stuff. This is E4L3, Gates Motel, which is a level from Plug and Pray, the fourth episode in Duke Nukem Total Meltdown, the PlayStation port of Duke Nukem 3D. Gates Motel has spooky music and an overall spooky atmosphere, complete with traps, dark rooms, and blood. Also, this level has a couple of new enemies, and several references to horror movies. These new enemies which are exclusive to this level are pretty strange. You've got the Ghost Enforcer, and the Zombie Pig Cop. Then you've got bathtubs filled with blood, Duke's dismembered head in a bloody bathtub, Duke's dismembered head in a cardboard box, living tentacles hanging from ceilings, and an octobrain in the shower, yeah, a funky octobrain in the shower. Who would have thought it? I'm pretty sure none of you guys are interested in showering with an octobrain. I didn't even mention how scary the octobrains look in Duke Nukem Total Meltdown. I mean, come on. Just look at this thing. And how about that bush maze, which you have to navigate through in order to find extra ammo, while doing so you could be jumped by a ghost enforcer or an octobrain at any time. 
I wonder, if this is what inspired Salazar's Bush Maze in Resident Evil 4. All these things together make this level a spine-chilling experience. Now, allow me to discuss not just one level, but an entire expansion. Yes, I know what you're probably thinking. What the fuck? This is a Christmas themed expansion, it has nothing to do with Halloween, and it isn't scary. That's it, I'm done watching, and I'm leaving a dislike. But hold on, bear with me for a minute. This expansion contains living snowmen. Yeah I know you all heard of Frosty the Snowman. But did you really think about the idea of a living snowman? You know, in most folklore, there's only one force that can bring inanimate things to life, and that is black magic. And just look at the way the snowman is presented on the nuclear winter cover. This is some creepy shit here. I think the snowmen look even creepier in game. Scary score for nuclear winter, 10 out of 10. Now, let's go on to Red Room, The Shining 2, the one level expansion in which you run around a moderately looked hotel while getting chased by possessed lumber sexuals. You know what, let's get this shit. Now here's something that should rattle your bones. This is Haunted Nukem, the unofficial expansion, which was obviously made with the intention of sending a chill down your spine. Every single level is packed with good horror elements. You've got a dark atmosphere, foreboding music, ruined structures, dead trees, crimson skies, and blood everywhere. There are even times in which you need to swim through bloody water in order to progress. The enemies seem to be the same aliens from the vanilla game, but they are quite different. They are zombie variants of the vanilla aliens, their limbs are easily blown off, and great dust oozes from their wounds. It looks like Chernobyl had reanimated the aliens that Duke Nukem previously killed. There are two episodes in this expansion, the titular Bonded Nukem, and the Sanctum. You can expect to get the creepy crawlies from every level of either episode. Next we have a custom level, otherwise known as a user map. This one is called 1999 Russia. This level's music has a lullaby sounding melody. It seems to want to convey a touching feeling. However, its unfitting mix with the spooky ambience makes the level even spookier, spooky to the point of becoming kind of disturbing. So the year is 1999, and you're lost in some dark forest located in Russia. The goal is to get back to the state of Tennessee in the United States. What the hell was Duke Nukem doing in Tennessee? I have no fucking idea. Anyway, you walk through the forest until you encounter a mysterious apparition. The apparition tells you where you are and promises to take you back to the United States. The apparition also suggests that you're its child, which is just, well, fucking creepy. Actually, the apparition implies that you can only go back to the United States if you make it through this so-called temple. Looks like Duke's got one extortionist parent. So you're teleported into some unknown enclosure where a hungry ghost octagrain awaits. The rest of the enemies are the familiar vanilla Duke 3D aliens, with the exception of a gargoyle variant of the assault trooper. As you progress, you're gonna get teleported to all these weird unknown places. This level has all sorts of weird tricks and traps, which are there to scare you, and or as you off. There's this one trap which involves you getting teleported into room, which is literally jam-packed with octobrains. Well, what else can I say? This level was created by Sanic. Now, prepare yourself, because shit is about to go south. Have you heard of the unofficial expansion called Moon Accident? Either way, it's very good, you should try it out. This is not a horror themed expansion, this is a sci-fi themed expansion which takes place on the moon. However, one level is an exception. Welcome to the secret level of Moon Accident. This level is called Depressivo, which is the Portuguese word for depressive. Oh boy, let me tell you, it is a lot more than just depressing. The first thing you realize is that you're getting attacked by two ghost troopers. In fact, 
His level is filled with ghost enemies, and introduces a new enemy. Its name is unknown, but it's obviously a ghost of some sort. Your location is also unknown, but the environment appears to be some sort of postmodern, urban void. The music sounds like something you'll hear in a cafe lounge. At this point, the level is more mysterious than creepy, but just you wait. After answering a trick question, you proceed into a teleportation field which teleports you into your haunted house, in which an array of unexpected things can happen to you. Watch this. Oh, and it gets fatal. This here, that you see at the bottom of the death shaft is actually Doom Guy's bloody head on a spike. Looks like Doom Guy ended up suffering the same fate as his rabbit. Pretty disturbing. There's another room which looks normal from the outside, but once you walk in, the room suddenly transforms into a gore site, complete with flashing red lights, skulls, and another Doom Guy head. Duke even expresses terror after the experience. So you get the key, and proceed to the study room, where you find another teleportation field. This one teleports you aboard an out-of-control train, which is going nowhere really fast. After you fight your way through the ghost-infested train, you find a mirror in the back of the train. Attempting to touch himself, Duke walks toward the mirror and is suddenly teleported into a mysterious room, which contains a massive 90s PC monitor and a massive keyboard. Pressing the escape key activates a trap, if you manage to escape, you'll get teleported into some eerie rock canyon. You'll eventually locate some sort of co-room, in which you must platform on the moving blocks, attempting to avoid falling to your death. This room has two recesses in its walls. If you're brave enough, you can jump into these recesses to get some health and ammo. And guess what, you'll also find another bloody doom guy head in the first recess. Eventually you'll teleport back to that postmodern void, in which you are now challenged by a question puzzle. This part is obviously inspired by Halfquake Amen, which is an episode from the Half-Life mod, Halfquake Trilogy. The level ending comes shortly after this puzzle. What's coming next, is the capstone of Scary Duke Nukem 3D material. This is the best horror add-on ever created for Duke Nukem 3D. And may very well be the best horror add-on of all, for any game. This is the white noise add-on, it's got every element of a good horror game, darkness, foreboding music, scary sounds, jump scares, blood, gore, mysterious entities, confusion, and suspense. You know what, the link is in the description, go ahead, experience it for yourself. But before I end this video, how about a 30 second sneak peek of gameplay, without any of my dabbing? Crud. How could I forget? The vanilla level, E1L6, The Abyss, is a really scary level. 
the Octobrains, the mysterious Channing, the transvestite fire dancer. Air, er, whatever, never mind. I forgot that most of you guys are grown men. So, without any more of my shenanigans, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and have a happy Halloween. Thanks for watching.